Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna be trimming some pots that I threw last night. I got a request from a good friend, put my shoes on, to make some uh, utensil pot. Uh, so I have thrown two different, this is what my floors look like. It's always clay. You can tell where my studio is. I've thrown two different forms and I think they're big enough. I'm gonna trim them. Um, they're pretty heavy, so I'm gonna trim a fair bit off and then uh, see how we go. I always get the button wrong every time. Welcome to my studio, my garage. My name is is some pots that are waiting to get fired. They're all kind of bone dry. This one's got a little a little crack in the top that I need to probably patch up before I get it fired. Um, this one I cut through last night. Came out okay. I think we're gonna start with this one. I think it was the first one that I th had thrown. Pretty heavy. Hey, nice. Cool. I, I did it in a similar style to another form that I had thrown, which is now, I'm gonna go get it. Holding my toothbrushes. So, I think that's what I had in my head. This one's kind of nicer though, it's bigger. So the brief was a utensils holder from a good family friend of mine and I figured that it needs to be quite solid so it doesn't like tip over and quite wide so that, I don't know, you can fit utensils. I am a little concerned about how much, it's, how much it will shrink in the kiln, but um, this is, I haven't really thrown forms this big and this thick before, so it bit thick. Uh, I want to like clean up the rim and then obviously trim the bottom and then I've got another one. <laughs> this is so heavy. <laughs> this one, which I don't know, maybe I'll keep uh, if she doesn't like it. It's, yeah, it's so thick down there. God damn, what was I thinking? First things first, I'm gonna get some little wormies, little sausages to put on the side to stabilize it, and then we're gonna get trimming. <laughs> wondering where that was. So this is what I always do, which is pretty common to keep pots from spitting off the wheel when you're doing the trimming, making some little sausages, as they're called. Just roll them up. Usually do four. And you're just kind of like propping up the bottom so that when you're applying pressure and cutting, cutting clay off that it doesn't fly away, basically. Pretty self-explanatory, but we want to make sure it's centered first. Kind of like center it by eye usually, if it's, I mean, typically you're centering spherical stuff, so. It's actually not too bad. It is quite thick, but I'm gonna leave most of it here because I don't want to disrupt the smoothness that is going on here. 
most of the time I trim too much and then regret it. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this sharp like it is or kind of like knock it back a little bit. It's kind of nice with that sharp because the rest of the form is quite angular, but maybe just pull it back just a little bit. I'm just using the sponge to add a little bit of moisture. It's probably gotten, it's not too dry, but it's needed a little bit. I'm using this uh, metal kidney to smooth out the top. So me and my friend Monica did that first little pottery market the other weekend. You can call it a pottery market. Basically, we were literally the only ones there <laughs> selling stuff. Uh, there was like a, a live band well, multiple different um, bands playing. Um, but we were the only ones selling pottery who had a store. Um, which was quite funny. But it was my first little intro into pottery market marketing. Um, so that kind of was nice in a way because it eased me into it. I sold some stuff. So, that's, that's cool. I don't think I'm going to do much else actually. The rim looks alright. Looks kind of nice. There was just a little bit of clay left over. A little bit sharp. But the angle, this angled lip, kind of matches the rest of the angular form. So, I'll leave it that. And I'm going to flip it over. It's a chonker. It's gonna be harder to center it. Still not very good at centering. Some I see some people doing this. It's actually pretty helpful. <laughs> Wondering if I should just It's actually so heavy that I don't really need to put the worms on. Pretty thick. Just gonna create a little bit of a foot. Maybe I typically create a bit of an edge. And I think in this case, since the, the lip kind of comes like this and then down, if I create a similar angle here, it might look nice. What did we learn today? <laughs> now I have to clean up a little bit what I just f***ed up. It's not too bad. Get up. An angle here on the foot. And create an indent. First things first. I feel like it's, it's not really sharp enough to merit being there at all. I might just remove it. Metal kidney is really helpful for creating the sharp finishes. But it has to be kind of still leather hard. As soon as it dries up, you just start dragging bits of clay, like little bits of uh, stone, I guess, through and you 
great, really long marks. I don't exactly know how thick the bottom is, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty thick. You can usually tell by tapping, but I'm not very good at that yet. Gonna put our little maker's mark on it and then move on to the next one. It's not too bad, I just want to smooth out the rim a little bit. It's done. So we've got just a bit of a foot there. Uh, this one, I don't know, I feel like we should do maybe something different. Uh, there we go. Yeah, pretty heavy. I think maybe we can, we could create some like cutouts down here that could look quite nice and a little bit different, something I haven't done before, so as long as the rim can hold it, because it's pretty chunky. I'll move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm trying to think what's the best, best tool to use. I want to like cut away, kind of like that, down, but I don't want to Maybe, maybe this tool, and then I can just go straight down. Ooh. Now I'm just gonna do that around the whole thing. Well, it's not perfect. This side's kind of nice. So I'm just gonna smooth this out with my thumb. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think I'm gonna have to trim quite a lot of this base off so that it kind of flows down more. Maybe I can do that with my tool. I'm trying to not to be too precious about this one. So it's kind of a little bit weird anyway. <laughs> Ta-da! Don't know if I like this one at all. Maybe if I was a bit more careful. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Anyways, these are the two pots that we've trimmed. And uh, we'll let them dry and then go get them fired. And that's it. That's the two pots that I had to trim. Comment down below what one you think is the best utensil holder for my family friend. Uh, if you like pottery, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.